Hello everyone, Andy Ruffell from eTechnics.com here with another unboxing overview. Uh, now this is definitely something that's a little bit different for us because we don't generally look at monitors. Now there's a very good reason why we don't look at monitors because we don't believe in doing things sort of, you know, half us um, or half ass, uh, obviously for our, for our American friends. Um, we don't believe in sort of reviewing something and testing something if we can't test it to its fullest capabilities. Very much like power supplies. Um, as you may know, we don't do power supplies anymore because our testing equipment blew up and we don't believe in doing the whole sticking a multimeter in seeing what figures it gives. We'd rather actually, you know, put it through all its paces properly. Now with a monitor, that does generally involve um, calibration, but we had a Zeus come to us and just really ask for a favor if we could review this for them. So really we're gonna be looking at this all from the aesthetic side and from a subjective side compared to, um, you know, actually calibrating it fully and getting the proper results. So this is one of their top sort of high-end monitors. This is the Zeus PA249. Uh, it's part of their Pro Art series uh, LCD monitors, and it is an IPS panel as well. As you may or may not know, IPS panels are sort of the the go-to um, monitors of this day and age. Unless you're going, you know, even higher end when we're talking, um, you know, some of the some of the Dell Ultra Sharp series, uh, Apple monitors, and so forth, with uh, obviously specific panels that um, really give uh, a sort of better picture for the type of use that you're going to be using it for, which is generally Photoshop work, um, graphical work, and that kind of thing. I actually own um, some Dell U3011s myself, and I can tell you for Photoshop and uh, things like that, it really does make a difference. So IPS is going to be perfect for that, so it's going to be brilliant for gaming and stuff as well. So uh, this monitor supports uh, Adobe RGB. Generally, you'll find that monitors, they, they support different color profiles like CMYK and so forth. Um, so Adobe RGB is fully supported. It is a IPS uh, ultra-wide viewing angle monitor. So you, this has got some amazing viewing angles on it. Uh, LED backlight as well. So obviously that makes it a lot crisper and clearer picture. 1920 by 1200 instead of 1920 by 1080. Uh, so we have got a slightly different aspect ratio. Obviously 16, 9, 16, 10. There's a... A big debate about that still on the market. There's been a lot of 1920 by 1080 monitors, but instead this one's 1920 by 1200, so it gives you a little bit more real estate, sort of on the vertical. Um, color accuracy. Um, we've also got precision factory calibration, and it's got four USB 3.0 ports, which is a really really nice feature to see for a monitor. Uh, there are monitors out on the market. Generally, you you might get two USB 2 ports on the side and maybe two on the rear I/O, uh, but this has actually got four. USB 3.0 ports, and uh, that's actually 10 times faster than USB 2. You can see that um, they've won a couple of awards for this already, so we've got the Good Design Award, the International Design Excellence Awards, and uh, the Innovation for International CES. Um, if I bring my cameraman in a little bit closer, we can see um, a first sort of view of the monitor itself, uh, over here and also down on the bottom. Other than that, if we sort of turn the box around, you can see we've got all these different logos I spoke about. The same on the side, and then the same on this side. So overall, the box hasn't really got mass amounts of information on it, but enough that you need. And it's also got a handy little carry handle. Though I've got to admit, it's quite a heavy monitor. So let's uh, get straight into getting it unboxed. Obviously you don't want to cut too deep because you don't want to damage whatever's inside. So be careful when obviously unboxing uh, a product like this. Um, by the way, on this side uh, you can see that the monitor itself is uh, able to go into portrait mode which is uh, really nice because a lot of high-end monitors won't go into portrait mode, they will only be in landscape. So it's nice to see that it does that with the uh, stand that's actually supplied. So having a look inside at the, uh, the way that it gets packaged in a protective material, you can see that we've got some polystyrene. It's maybe half an inch thick uh, in the sort of smallest place, uh, but overall sort of quite solid, so it should protect the monitor quite nicely. And then inside we have the panel itself and, uh, and the stand, which come already pre-fitted, generally with monitors you'll find that you get the actual panel itself and then you get the stand coming separate. Having a look inside at more of the uh, protective material, and you probably will find is these are generally quite sort of stiff and quite snug. 
So we may have to actually undo it from the other side to get this out. Which I think we're going to, uh, just to sort of see what accessories we get. So let's close up that side and let's open it from the other side. So opening this up. And we get a view of all of our accessories. So inside here we have a PA249Q LCD monitor color calibration testing report. Um, so this is uh, basically goes through the color profiles. So the pre-tuned sRGB and the Adobe RGB. Uh, it says that it's got undergone rigorous tests and calibration processes to ensure the color difference is less than three. Um, thus preventing color inaccuracy and inconsistency on screen. So it just gives you a few charts here, grayscale, uh, tracking, gamma value, Adobe RGB, and then the sRGB as well. Um, so it's nice that they give that to you. Obviously, it's a little bit of peace of mind if you're spending you know, mass amounts of money on a monitor. We've got an Azus branded cable tie, which looks very professional, I've got to say. We've got a driver installation CD, uh, which by the looks of it, it's actually fallen out of the wallet. But uh, yeah, that's your uh, software installation and manual. So um, in terms of the uh, color profiles, generally they'll be installed onto this disc. But you can normally sort of download them from the internet as well. Also inside we've got the ASUS VIP member notice. And uh, this just goes through in many different languages. We find English at the front. Um, where you can put in all your customer information, which obviously helps when you buy something and it comes to warranties. And then we've got contact numbers for Zeus as well. Also inside is a kettle lead for the uh, European market. We've got a quick start guide, which opens up and tells us about the, uh, the different buttons on the monitor. And opens up a little bit more and tells us what these buttons are. So we've got the quick fit button, the menu button, uh, shortcut one and two, uh, and so forth, power buttons. Um, yeah, and that comes in many different languages. Also inside is a HDMI cable by the looks of it. Ah, no, a DisplayPort cable. Now that's really interesting to see because generally with uh, monitors, you get the very, very old that no one really uses VGA cable, and then you'll, you might, if you're lucky, get a DVI cable, but yeah. This has got a display port, which is really, really nice to see. So, uh, yeah, got high hopes for, for this monitor. Also included, there we go, VGA. Um, I really wish they'd stop bundling this because if you're buying a monitor of this caliber, um, to be honest, any monitor that's sort of 21 inch and above, it's going to be good quality. Like if you're spending a lot of money, who's going to be using VGA? If you are using VGA, please stop and switch to DVI or HDMI or DisplayPort. And then here we've got a USB 3.0, so you can see that with the blue connector. Um, that's obviously gonna plug into your computer, and then this is gonna plug into the uh, rear I.O., I'm guessing, on the monitor, and that's then gonna open up them for USB ports. And that is pretty much it in terms of the accessories. So we've put that to one side, and then we can have a look at the monitor itself. So the monitor comes in a um, protective bag, as you'd normally expect. Take that off, you can see it's like a sort of foam material on this side, really sort of thin foam. And on the other side, it's like a clear bag. So if we take that off, uh, we can see the monitor straight away is in uh, portrait mode. And to turn it around, it's just a matter of swiveling it. And then on the bottom, we've got another bag just to protect the base, which we can put down like that. You can see the base itself, uh, if we have a look at that, it doesn't take up a mass amount of room, but you can see that it's sort of average to what you'd consider for a monitor. And uh, this all turns around as well. So if I turn this around, you can see that we've got this sort of circular disc, and that allows the monitor to rotate um, to quite a nice sort of uh, degree. And this will turn all the way around until it locks about there. But obviously, for the most part, you're going to have it facing you like that. Uh, sticking with the stand, if I turn that around, uh, you can see that that pushes all the way down. And then obviously you can start pulling it up in various different degrees. And there are little notches on here. I don't know if the camera will be able to pick it up, but there's little notches just going down here. So you can sort of see, you know, what is perfect for you and how many notches up or down you're going to have it. Um, so really nice stand. It's got this sort of outer plastic casing and then this inner module. 
um, and then obviously connects up here. We can see that we've got visa mounting as well, and these have got uh, little rubber grommets on there. So these rubber grommets uh, with a right sort of you know flat-headed screwdriver, you'll be able to take these off, unscrew this, and then you can uh, attach it to the wall. Taking off this protective layer here, you can see that we've got the Zeus logo in sort of glossy style. Lots of ventilation ports all the way along the sides, along the top, and along down the other side. Uh, at the bottom is the rear I.O., which we will get to very, very shortly. Um, on the side, at least on this side, we've got the four USB 3.0 ports. So they're really nice to have on the side because obviously they're, they're quite easy to sort of get to. And then if I turn around to the other side, you can see we've got nothing on this side apart from designed by Zeus in Taiwan. So obviously they're very, very proud that they've designed this all themselves. And then we've also got, I don't know if we picked this up earlier, but on the stand, it tells us about the height adjustment and how far we can go and the swivel as well. So if we just pick that up, you can see exactly what the angles are for that. And you can see obviously if this is gonna be the type of panel for you. And then having a look at the front of the monitor, you can see that it's a matte finish going all the way around. We've got this lovely sticker telling us about all the features. Then we've got all the buttons here which are sort of almost flush, they only stick out ever so slightly. But we've got the power, looks like enter, um, to switch your source, shortcut one and two, uh, menu button, and then we've got this uh, other little button up there. A Zeus logo down here and you can see there's a very very nice red stripe that goes all the way along the bottom. So a little bit of styling there. And one thing that I'm really really keen, uh, keen on that I've seen on this, obviously this is part of their Pro Art series, so it's going to be aimed at people doing Photoshop and using Adobe project uh, products. You can see uh, the camera should be able to pick this up, but there's actually a ruler all the way along the bottom. So you can see this sort of goes up to 55, we've got 45, 40, uh, going all the way along. That's fantastic. Really, really nice to see uh, a feature like that on a monitor like this. Obviously, if you're doing graphics in Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, that's going to come in really, really handy. So last but not least really is, uh, oh yeah, it says Pro Art up here as well and the uh, model number resolution and so forth. But the last thing that we really need to show you is, uh, is the IO, all the connections on here. So I'm gonna try and sort of turn this over and put it down without damaging anything. So starting from the left, you can see that we've got the on off switch just here. We've got uh, where our kettle lead would go into. Uh, your barcode sticker and everything is just down here. Then we have a full size display port connector. We have a full size HDMI connector. A DVI connector. VGA connector. I'm really disappointed that there's VGA on this. I'm sorry but if you're buying a monitor like this you're not going to be using VGA. Really disappointing to see that. Um, but I guess there are still people out there, still a market for it. It's not costing you any extra, so why not? Uh, we've also got a headphone port just here as well. And then we've got our USB uh, connector to plug that supplied cable into. So you've got every connection you could ever need in terms of DisplayPort, HDMI, DVI, and VGA. And that is pretty much it uh, when it comes to this monitor. Uh, what we will do is we will have a full written review on it where we will sort of test it to the best that we can in terms of a subjective style of testing a monitor uh, but as you can see straight away the features look absolutely amazing i love the fact that it's got this ruler uh, along the bottom i think that's a really really great idea um, so i've got to give you know um, thanks to to azus for for implementing that feature because it's something that personally i would use myself and uh, it's nice to see the uh the quite fluid stand on here as well sort of up down left right um, and so forth. It's really really nice to see lots of ventilation holes on here as well. For anyone who's ever owned a Dell Ultra Sharp series you'll know how hot they get. Um, so hopefully you know this is going to be slightly different to that. So yeah, check out eTechnics.com where we will have a full written review on this particular monitor very very soon. Until now, um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video sort of taking a look more at the aesthetic side and what comes included with this monitor. If you do like our videos, be sure to uh, like it, comment and subscribe. Until next time, uh, please keep checking back where we'll have a lot more videos, sort of unboxings, overviews and reviews for you very, very soon. Thank you very much.